I'm here today to visit Bradfield College in Reading in Berkshire and in particular to look at their new Blackburn Science Centre which has been a collaboration between Siemens and one of its partners and the college here to produce a truly inspirational building so let's go and have a look. Mitchell thanks very much for inviting me down here today. It's the uh, first time I've been here but I've heard a lot about the project from my team. Perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about what you've done here. Well, that's excellent to have you here. Um, obviously the idea behind the build as a whole was to produce a building that could combine all three sciences into one building fit for the new century. Mm -hmm. We wanted to create a building that would be exciting and stimulating to pupils. We have a biomass boiler located in the plant room mm -hmm. that provides all the low temperature hot water for the underfloor heating system both in the ground and first floors. Um, six photovoltaic arrays that consist of 16 modules that produce enough electricity to power all the external lighting. Oh, very impressive. We have a rainwater harvesting system to the rear mm -hmm. of the building, which is a 20,000 litre tank mm -hmm. that collects all the rainwater across the building via downpipes and underground storage tank, which pipes they then back up to mains pressure and used in non-potable applications such as the toilets. We have a daylighting strategy which is based on maximising the amount of available daylight in the space. You can see this through the, through through the glass yes, roof here. Through, through the glazed walkway and obviously glazing all around us. In the laboratories we have daylight dimming in the lamps, which actually reduces the lux output based on the amount of daylight that's coming into the space. Mm. We have a green roof, a wildflower on one side and sedum on the other. One side of the building is an entire bat loft, specifically <laughs> designed to be sound and acoustically enhanced to protect them. So can you tell me a little bit more about how you've actually used the Siemens technology in the building? Oh, yes, absolutely. We have a Siemens Desigo system that mm -hmm. allows us to control the elements behind the building. And also we have a green building monitor mm -hmm. that was customised for our needs specifically to allow us to show off our green credentials to visitors and also as an academic tool for mm -hmm. pupils so that teachers can use this green mm -hmm. building monitor and continue to update it as something we can easily edit ourselves to allow us to display the live data in a way that pupils are going to be interested in what mm -hmm. they're doing and allowing them to realise the energy saving experience of the building. As obviously Siemens is very keen to promote STEM subjects, that's science, technology, engineering and mathematics uh, for children and this building is a great example of that using our technology, uh, your pupils as well, mm. hopefully to bring together a really good experience uh, and promote green technology for the future. No, we found it an excellent product and certainly looking to incorporate in future developments, whether it be new builds or even retrofitting into our boarding houses. It's definitely something we want pupils to be able to experience, to see live how their energy saving is impacting on what they're doing and the carbon savings associated with that. So it's mm. definitely something we're looking at in the future. So thank you very much for your time, Mitchell. And thank you for coming down. I enjoy speaking about the building and the more people that know, the better. So thank you very much. Thank you.